Deputy McConnell and then Deputy Kenny after that. Thank you, Chairperson, and uh, thanks to uh, Boss Aaron and the Department of Education officials for coming in today. And uh, I think it's important to raise a particular issue which I know the Department, both uh, Department of Education and Boss Aaron are aware of in relation to a school transport issue affecting the Terman and Kilmacrennan area of Donegal, where students going to secondary school in the Milford area have, uh, are without a school bus place. And what's particularly unique to this instance, and I know the, the Minister met with uh, Donegal Oireachtas members last week, and I discussed the matter with them this morning myself, um, so I, I know it is an issue that you are working on and considering, but what's particularly unique to this uh, case is the fact that the vast majority of the 33 students who are affected are actually eligible, um, in that they, are not they wouldn't be concessionary students and they would be entitled to school transport. But um, for a number of reasons, and one of them being, I think, because some of these parents were able to actually fill out the application form on the website um, and get to the end of it, but, but because of an issue with their medical card, um, didn't have their medical cards available at that time to actually input it. But having said that, got to the end of the application process and were notified at the end of the application process on the website that they were registered. So therefore believed that they had completed the process and that it had been accepted. Um, Accept that their application had been accepted. So, as a result of that, we have something in the 20s, up to about 25 students who would be in the category of eligible now without a seat bus, without a, without a school bus um, seat. And uh, uh, obviously, the parents and those students are particularly distressed by that. So, I do think the capacity is there within the rules of the school transport scheme to actually uh, provide for those students and ensure that an additional route is put in place, an additional bus is put in place promptly to ensure that they um, can get to, to, to school this year and do have a seat on a school bus. So um, I would ask you if you can give us an idea as to um, how pr promptly you believe you may be able to come back um, and have your deliberations completed in that. And uh, I think the Minister has indicated that he does hope to meet with the Rockdust members again to, to uh, update them in terms of, uh, of, of your considerations on it. But I would emphasise today just the fact that uh, this case is particularly different because up to 25 of those students would be regarded as eligible as opposed to concessionary. And therefore, um, the, the, there is a case for actually putting in place additional, an additional bus route to cater for them for this school year. Um, and just to take up the point which was raised by another of other, a number of other deputies with regard to students who are, in, who are affected sort of by the uh, closed school or the near school rule. And as Deputy Brown pointed out himself, the, uh, the lack of logic be applied in some of those situations. And I have had a number of those cases where uh, students are maybe just 100 metres or less of, um, of being closest to the school that they've traditionally attended. All of their neighbours would be attending the school which they've traditionally attended. But um, uh, these students are told, sorry, if you want to go on that bus, you'll be regarded as concessionary. You'll only get a seat if there's one spare, and you'll have to pay the fee. Even in cases where there isn't actually a school route to the other school which they're being told they're closest to, because there traditionally wouldn't have been a practice of going to those schools. So they then have to find their own way to school, or else make maybe tra in one case, for example, in Drumfries this year in uh, Donegal, they would have to travel a couple of miles to, the, uh, to link into the next school bus route, whereas the bus was actually passing the top of their lane, but they couldn't get on it um, without actually paying the fee. That's a situation which has also arisen, uh, for example, in Newton Cunningham in Donegal. It arises in Terman and Kilmacrennan every year. Um, also, there's an issue in Muff and in Glen Ely. And it's cases such as that where there wouldn't be an additional cost there could be capacity on, the, on the, uh, the bus even, but the students have been told that if they, uh, uh, if they want to go to the school they've always gone to, they have to pay the fee, even though if they chose to go the other way, number one, there might not be a route, number two, if there was a route, they would also be free in it. So there wouldn't be a net cost to the department as such, but because of the fact that a bit of logic can't come in to the implementation of the rules, um, they, they are missing out. So I would ask, I think it's important for, uh, for going forward, that there is a review of that, and we do bring a little bit of common sense into the application of the rules um, so that people in those areas actually don't see the situation that faces them every year continue to face them um, uh, whenever they face into the next school year again. Thank you. Deputy McConnell. Um, Deputy McConnell mentioned a specific case that we'll certainly look at um, as it's been raised.
Thank you. Can I just, just ask briefly, Chairperson, thanks in relation to the Milford Kilmacrennan school transport issue. In terms of the timeline involved in the department assessing that and the assessments you're making on it, can you just elaborate a bit more in terms of where you're at in relation to that and the timeline in terms of coming back to the, the families concerned? Um, to be honest, on a timeline, um, I'm not certain because I'm not sure exactly what more. Um, can I contact you directly um, tomorrow on it? Okay, yeah. 